team like the Chiefs. Starting out with a CTF is probably not the best place you want to start out here up against the Chiefs. I feel like they have been such a stalwart of CTF teams in so long after every single one of these qualifiers. Even in Raleigh, they were a team that will be able to take down these big international squads on CTF maps. And if you're a Death Raptor fan, I'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to go all three maps here, but maybe if you can get an upset on CTF, it sets you up for a good little Slayer map too. Yeah, one thing about CTF or any objective game really is that you don't necessarily need to be the team that's slaying out. You've just got to slay out at the right time and get the flag moving. So maybe this is the opportunity for Death Raptor fans to make their flag runs count be patient, wait for your picks and get map control and get those flags across the map as quickly as possible when you have those opportunities because um, Chiefs, they're not going to let opportunities slip through their fingers. They're going to be jumping on them as soon as they come. So I think a little bit of patience from Death Raptor fans, but they need to keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on and then wait for those opportunities to come. That would be key for victory um, if you're a Death Raptors fans fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's, a, that's an interesting one. The Death Raptors fans, fans, and then you might have Death Raptors fans, 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 and we can go all the way until the cows come home to see how many different fans we can get going. But enough of that, lads. It is time for us to jump into Bazaar here. The real question is, is Barcode going to be put in a cage by the Death Raptor fans, or will they be able to fall to the cheese? Let's jump into Bazaar and find out, lads. Yeah, thanks, Luke. Really looking forward to getting into this one. You know, we have seen, Justin, so far, these bizarre CTFs have been pretty low scoring. It's just teams trying to establish some form of map dominance and usually just eking out a cap in those last couple of minutes. Uh, but when you do have a team like Chiefs who are so strong and then objectively sound, are we going to see a much different and faster scoring uh, setup here? We do jump on board with Apollo to start off, starting to make a move for that uh, grapple, and we see Barco taking it there. I think Barco almost always heads for that grapple at the very start, and he can then take his picks he head up to Rocket Sword as he try and grapple that overshield to himself. He is unfortunately taken down though, so we are seeing Flex Trains moving on this overshield while Rice just keeps an eye on it. So overshield is now in the hand of the Chiefs as we see Rockets as well. And nice dodging there by Rice, making sure he avoids that, but he does have an overshield pushing in on him as well as Rockets. And that's always going to be a hard one to, to get away from there, Justin. He's taken down. Yeah, he is now on board with Apollo. Look at that. He's so many grenades thrown in with uh, Barco there, managing to secure the kill. And looks, look at that. Chiefs have already got a flag on the move. Prady's managing to get it past that really danger zone there. And Rice desperately trying to put some pressure down, but no flex rain comes in and applies the cover so that they can get the flag moving. Kluzi desperately trying to get that recover. Nice double kill from him. And look at this. Gets the double kill and instantly takes some map control here. This is exactly the, what you want to see if you're a Death Raptors fans fan. Yeah, <laughs> just keep going with that one. It, it still works. But they are, they managed to actually get all four down for Chiefs at that point. So really putting a stop to that flag big time. And then you're right, pushing in really hard. And we are seeing a triple Whoa. there in the head from Kluzi. So that is four Overkill. down again for the Chiefs. Overkill. No wow. way. So that is good. If you're going to get a cap, Justin, that's how you do it. You get the overkill. In. But we do see here Chiefs get that spawn down the rockets. And they immediately, the first thing they do is they start to head across. So he's going to have Jordan on the left here the Chiefs fans pushing in on him and that's a very easy way to stop that flag so it's just a matter of how much can they reverse this the Chiefs uh, we do have a double from Rice he's dropped so that's four down for Death Raptor fans unfortunately so Chiefs get that lucky spawn managed to head under through the river there um, under rockets and, and put a stop and we're going to look like we're going to see a counter cap potentially here Justin so that overkill may have gone to waste effectively not able to put that flag in and it looks like they're starting to run this right down bottom middle and they're getting pretty far along with an overshield yeah, look at that. And Rice, he grabs that overshield and they're just beating the living crap out of each other bottom <laughs> mid. And uh, Brady's now hiding in the double doors here, waiting for his victim to skulk past. And look at this. He's trying to rotate through and checking his angles here. Can't really seem to find much going on. It's got a little bit quiet, but as I say that, a flag is on the move. Look at this. Brady's, he finds one second Ooh. once there. Apollo gets the nice clean up there. Barco going in. Andrew Garfield, you know, web shooter in hand, launching that flag all the way across. He's running bottom mid without any kills. He's so confident in getting it across, utilizing that grapple to get himself a little bit closer over. And there's not much pressure being put on Barcode right now. And there comes the return. And not checking your angles. Barcode was still there. He copped a smack in the back into the respawn screen. And then Pips is there. Oh. Nice cleanup for him and flags on the move. 
Yeah, it looks like this is going to put in Pips just absolutely punting Kluzy out of the map, it looked like. They should be in a position to capture this. They're all just holding around the flag, and it looks like Fleck Reigns is going to make a move for this. Unfortunately, he's dropped. He can't put it in. That is two down for the Chiefs right now. Death Raptor fans all four up, so they are pushing in through the rocket side here. Two of them coming in. Four dead for Chiefs, so it looks like Death Raptor fans are going to get a last line return here. That's fantastic words, Justin. I thought that was in for sure, and I think maybe a bit of miscommunication among the Chiefs of who was going to run it. There was a bit of time where the flag just sat out the front of their base. No one wanting to take it and you know th those two or second delays in two one or two second delays in running a flag can really come back and bite you but we are seeing very different ctf game compared to the other ctf bizarre games we've seen where a lot of flag pulls are actually getting a pretty far distance so um that just is is quite different to what we've seen in some of the previous series we've had yeah and look at this but prades he's had a free run all the way across the map does count copper grenade uh, to the bum there but not enough to send him off to the naughty corner it does look like he's going to smack that one in it's one up for the chiefs and it was very scrappy oh. the back whack comes in on the overshield player double oh. kill triple kills there if he wants it does get the trade with the help of his teammate there now on board with jordan going in for the cleaner the thruster he's completely lost he has no idea where he is doesn't matter manages to get the clean up there throws out a grenade cutting off those angles and here comes the player coming in for the cleanup Need it's a fresh mag in his BR. He's in big trouble here, doing his best to stay alive, Hoots, but he does go down. Now on board with Barco throwing up that shock nade there. Area denial up onto the cubby there. And now he's moving into the flag that's trying. If he can get one moving, finds himself Jordan, puts him down pretty easily there. And now rotating into the into the base. We're going to see another flag on the move. Both flags are out, I think, Hoots. This is the most chaotic game of bizarre CTF I think we've seen so far. It's just, you know, I was actually finding some of the other games a bit you know pretty slow paced but we're just seeing absolutely insane slaying coming out from both teams and flag pulls from both teams and you know if to only be up one nil with the amount of flag pulls that we've seen from both teams is is just insane barcode's just been patrolling bottom mid here for a while putting in some great shots there on rice taking him down they should be able to make a push potentially to get this flag through the double doors now um although we do have jordan trying to put in a fight barcode manages to slide him just get a touch and keep it alive it will sit out the front of double doors so they're gonna have to be pretty exposed to death raptor fans if they want to return this but it looks like they're in a position to do it justin they're gonna send this one back they are and it's very critical that they did they just double body hopped it and got that flag back in the base as soon as possible does look like that overshield is about to pop that's going to be key for death raptor fans uh to utilize that the spanker coming up at the same time and you know where do you put your resources do you commit to the overshield and um get that or do you use the rockets to get the overshield it's a tough one to say but it does look like Prades is getting ready to grab that spanker. It does get a little bit of pressure applied, but no, rotates straight away. Plenty of shields to deal with. Overshield oh. does look like it's burnt and looks like uh, Chiefs. Overshield's burnt and they get the rockets. They're in a good position here to get another flag moving. Yeah, Prady's moving in now through the bar, getting that height advantage. He'll be able to drop Apollo there very Ooh, as he picks up the double actually one. with the rockets. Can he find a triple? Unfortunately, no, it looks like the other two Death Raptor fans have moved through to the tree. So he's actually going to head that way. And that's what you can do with those rockets. You can feel wow. so confident that you can run the flag straight towards enemies when you typically wouldn't because you've got those rockets in your back pocket and you've got an instant kill sitting there. So they did get three down for quite a while there, um, the Chiefs, but they are managing to move this flag now through the bottom middle. This seems to be the route they're taking most of the time, Justin. It's straight under that little tunnel there and then through the double doors here. Um, I'm liking this from Prades. He's taking a bit of his time. He knew someone was in his base. That's Rice. Rice is now going to get taken down, so should have a pretty clear run, I think, at putting this flag in to go up 2-0. Yeah, it was a little bit of a, a fumbly run. He didn't he didn't do it with much haste, but he got it there in the end and used those rockets perfectly. He got three kills and then just solo ran it across the map. So amazing stuff from him. Apollo with some tasty shots to put that player back in the respawn screen. Spots himself, flex reigns, back him off, and it does look like Death Raptor Flans. They've got a flag on the move. Is it comeback time, Hooters? I'm not sure, but Apollo already got that flag close to the halfway mark, launching it across... And he's going to expose himself oh. top mid. Oh, you haven't got time to mess around there, mate. You know, the market's closed. No fruit for you. And look at that. He only just narrowly not making it through those double doors. And if he hadn't have fumbled, he may have made it. And here comes the return. Are they going to be able to stop that from going back in? Two bodies on that flag. Quick return. And look at this. A counter cap, maybe, Hoots? Yeah, potentially. There's a fair few deaths coming through. I did like the idea of the Death Raptor fans trying to run it um, across to the bar side to try and stop those 
spawns uh, under rockets because they have been getting hurt by them a few attempts at flag pulls so far where the Chiefs have just been able to run straight under untouched into their base to stop the flag coming back but we do see now Flex running it this exact same route so this is clearly the Chiefs route if you are watching this and you're competing against the Chiefs if they're running flag this is where they're going to be taking it um, and we can see it looks like he's going to get through these double doors as well taking a few shots but they've got enough teammates there up we've also got Pips with the overshield he can almost just put that on and just start tanking shots as he can get it almost up that ledge but this might not be in although with only one alive for Death Raptor fans I think it's pretty safe to say it will be so three flags up now for Chiefs this is a much higher scoring a bizarre CTF game that, than we've seen in previous series Justin and this is also a bit of a statement from them I think yeah, and you know what? Like, I know um, the Chiefs have got a 3-0 three, uh, lead right now, but Death Raptor fans, they've been putting up a pretty good fight, and they've gotten flags out, and they've just narrowly missed out a couple of times, and they had the flag all the way over on their side of the map and just couldn't get them in, unfortunately. Kluzy doing his best there, not able to connect on that kill, so he's in the respawn screen. Now on board with Pips. Fresh Spanker's there if he wants it, slams that in. Looking around for players, opting to be a little bit lower on the map does grab himself some thrusters in his back pocket looking for a player connects on one one more rocket to play with and he can just take his time and wait for the players to push out and two minutes 30 on the clock it is doable for death raptor fans to bring things back but it is going to be a hard fought battle with chiefs playing the way they are Pips with a nice clean up there shields are flashing he does get called out and cleaned up though hoots yeah look you, you said there is time justin you're, you're not wrong but things have to go pretty damn perfectly for death up to fans now to get uh, at least three caps to tie it up in two minutes. It's, you know, it, it's certainly going to be a challenge. We should mention, you know, this is one of the Chiefs' strongest maps. In fact, they actually took this off the Pioneers at Raleigh on CTF Bazaar, winning 4-1. So, um, you know, certainly they're not no strangers to this map and game type. Um, so, you know, I guess if you're Death Raptor fans, do you take that away as we move into that next Slayer? They're most likely going to go in down a game. Um, but, you know, just understand that this is Chiefs' best map by you know, a considerable margin. Um, and so they do have a chance to rebound off that. But, you know, with a minute 45 left, it's going to be very hard for them to turn this around. It is going to be tough, but, you know, got to stay objective with things uh, looking their way. Re Rice with the double kill there, starting to move that flag out. They do have an opportunity here. He didn't hesitate to get that flag moving after a couple of kills. Doing really well to run this flag. Nice. Not a lot of fumbles. This might be the cleanest run. Well, Ooh. as I say, it casters <laughs> curse. He fumbles it. The butterfingers oh. come in and he drops it, sliding down onto the floor. Oh, man. I'm sorry about that, Rice. I shouldn't have said that you you're running it really well. Caster's curse. Yeah, that's really unfortunate there. You know, even just to get a bit of uh, respect on the scoreboard and not get 3-0 uh, or whatever it ends up being, just to at least get a cap would be a positive. But, you know, it just, it really can crush you when you think you're home and then all of a sudden it's nah, you fumble the flag slightly and before you know it, you've got several Chiefs players on you um, and it's just not happening. So, look, they're going to get this flag return here. Death Raptor fans, only 45 seconds to go. So I think we can put a, a line through this game, Justin. But this has been a pretty strong performance from the Chiefs. And particularly, look, let's look at Barco there, 28 kills 10 assists 17 deaths we were saying going in that you know he's been feeling a bit under the weather lately and perhaps you know is that going to affect his performance but you know putting up these kind of numbers just you know so much more than the rest of his team i think he's doing just fine yeah, and, you know, Barco just doing what Barco does, which is just dominate everyone that he sees on the map. But we do see Jordan and Kluzy on the 20 bombs, respectively, on their side. So take out Barco for a minute, and the slays are pretty damn even. So Death Raptor fans doing their best to keep things respectable, but this game's over. There's three kill lead, and there's only a few seconds left. Um, so three to zero in favour of the Chiefs in game one. Yeah, so, you know, there we go. As you said, it's, um, you know, it's, it's put that one in the past, I think, and we, we move on to the next game. We move on to a Slayer where they don't have to worry about the objective so much. And, you know, we had, you know, pretty solid Slays coming out of most of the um, the Death Raptor fans there. So no one really holding back and, and get, getting in the pretty, like, you know, low teens or anything like that. Death Raptor fans, I'll be interested to see how much snipe, map, Sniper they can, can control on this map and how they actually implement using it. But, you know, we're straight into it, Justin. Death Raptor fans. Top three is guaranteed for them so far. They've at least finished that. But if they can somehow manage to, to win this one against Chiefs and then move on to Slayer Oddball, uh, they're facing a d Divine Mind in the in the final. So uh, this is huge for them. And, and you know, I'm, I really am keen to watch Rice on this and how he goes with the snipe in his hands. 
Yeah, and a lot of, even even just the BR, he's a lot of long sight lines on this map. It, it does get tight at times, but it's all about your positioning. If you put, put yourself in a position that's going to um, lead to your strengths, then you can utilize that as much as possible. And uh, Flex Rain's there using that AR, the takeout, Kluzy, already one on the board, nabs that sniper rifle, hits the Ooh, ankle. ankle. <laughs> you know, Achilles, watch out. I probably would have one-shot him. Um, but Flex Rain opting to rotate that sniper sniper away, Off, um, really not being too aggressive with it, hits a nice body shot on Kluzy, gets the clean up, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, just intelligent play with flex reins, making sure that he's utilizing the sniper ammo as much as possible, and checking angles, and just rotating around the map, not wanting to give it up, Hooters. Yeah, so keeping an eye on the B here, and looking to move into the nest, although that being said, Jordan's there, but he's, these no scopes he's hitting it just fantastic, tossing a nade in there as well, Jordan's gonna have to back down, his, his little ankle showing out as well, it doesn't manage to get hit, and so smart by Flex Reigns to back out a little bit. He knows his team's setting up in A. He's got that sniper in his hands. There's no point trying to lose it and go for the, the Hollywood shot. So let's just push through with the teammates while they distract. He can look to maybe line up some headshots um, straight down the middle here. But he's just poking away and they're, they're sitting there tempting him. But he's causing a distraction there, as we can see, while Barco just runs in and picks up the kills. Rice completely unawares there is caught. And so a Ooh. nice lead being built by Chiefs here, uh, doubling the score right now. 13 to 6 even they've jumped out to. So uh, Death Raptor fans caught a bit unawares at the start. Oh, and Pips, a little bit of pressure there. Wasting that last snipe bullet there, which is nice. And a little, well, I'm not sure what's going on there. A little bit of player collision there, just inside of each other. And uh, Prady's getting a nice clean up there. And he's got that heat wave too. And you know what? The Chiefs, they utilize those power weapons so well. Already picking up one kill. Seconds there if he wants it. Doesn't connect with any of the shots, but doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, only his fists matter for that double kill there. Who's connecting on that nice reload onto the heat wave now. That overshield. So the camo, is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a camo on this back. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Excuse me. And uh, Needle is there too, if you want. I want to see some Needler action, Hoots. I don't know if you're a Pink Mist fan. I love it, yeah. And it's, it's actually been beefed up a fair bit in infinite so it's worth picking up but um look chiefs are making a real statement here right they want to move straight through they want another crack at divine mind after getting 2-0 they're not used to being down in this elimination bracket probably feel that it's not where they belong um and so they're really coming out strong here a 12 kill gap already and look at that just barker running around like a maniac uh, rice running straight in front of him completely unaware but a nice trade there uh, for rice actually being able to get that back so barcode's dropped but you know we need more than that in terms of when you're down at a level like this um in a Slayer, you need to be pulling these back and getting two or three kills per death. But the momentum for Chiefs right now is just just super strong. They're rolling through, and um, like I said, they're keen to uh, get back to that final and then have another crack at Divine Mind. They are, and we're talking about the Needler before, and Pips with it. He does go down, unfortunately, for him. Scoreline is still within margin. Um, death Raptor fans can bring it back if they want to, but, you know, a uh, betting man would favor Chiefs at this point. They have the momentum from the previous game. They have the Slayer lead, and look at this. Barco desperately trying to rotate that sniper away, and look at that. He manages to slink away with that yeah. fresh sniper. So much pressure. They're really sniffing him out. They must have heard me in the commentary. Just take out Barco at all costs and they'll swamped him taking him out and players just dropping left and right hooters and uh, the score line right now kind of starting to bloat out a little bit Apollo doing his best to take out the player from the BR tower there he does go down himself Barco the wrecking ball comes in throwing all those grenades through puts in a couple of little shots down the long hole area there and just utilizing his life here he's He's so confident in challenging people, but he knows when he shouldn't be challenging people too um, brashly and just giving up his life. Oh. Easy double kill for him. Power up about to pop, and he grabs it, smacking that camo onto him. And no heat wave to utilize with it, but it doesn't matter. And uh, is he grabbing the ammo? He's, we're going to wait for it to yeah. spawn, Hoots. There we go. Fresh <laughs> yeah. ammo. He's got the heat wave on respawn timer. Why not? And it's um, look, one thing I find about Barkett is his use of the his use of the crouch in particular is just at the level above so many others you know he just knows where the cover is perfectly and he's happy to crouch around and wait you know a lot of players just try and run away from fights whereas he'd prefer just to crouch down and stand completely still when the nades come in he can start to make his move then but why why push himself out and, and take unnecessary shots and look at that just perfectly waiting there for for Kluzy and catches him unawares and there's the trade going through um, and we are seeing now this kill lead blow out a little bit more to 13 so Chiefs are starting to run away with this one here Death Raptor fans just not really able to get anything going it doesn't look like they're 
have had much control of, of the snipe at all, or the power up with the camo. Um, and we just see here, like, you know, Rice going up against four players, doing really well to stay alive there, but um, picking up just one kill and not really having the teammates to come in and help him until just now. But it's a little bit too little, too late. He did have a few players there lined up that he could have taken out. Unfortunately, just wasn't able to really capitalize and only pick up the one kill. So, um, yeah, it, it's a, a 10 kill gap now. Death Raptor fans bringing it in a little bit, but geez, they're going to have to be really conservative with their lives now. Yeah, they'll need to play perfect Halo from this point. Hoots, it's it's a pretty pretty dangerous situation. It is a uh, best of three. So, Death Raptor fans, their backs are up against the wall right now. And um, Rice trying to do his best. Will, will he win this 1v1 versus Barcode? No, he won't. He does drop down to try and rotate away, but he gets taken out. Jordan with that heat wave. Will he be able to stay alive? He does. Shields, look how weak he is. I oh, mean... <laughs> Bloody hell, he could stub his toe on a rock and he probably would have died there, Hooters. But now on board with Apollo and uh, just hiding out in the little hallway here. He's got some sticky nades there. Maybe he'll go for a tasty little trade. He tries to throw one Misses. out. Doesn't connect, unfortunately, Hooters. But um, Death Raptor fans, I'd say... Uh, sorry to say, Barco getting the connection there might be all she wrote for them. Only six go kills to go for the Chiefs to put this one in the bag. Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty much just run around, run and gun if you can for, for Chiefs. I think they'll back themselves in one-on-one -on -one against a lot of the D Death Raptor fans players and look to put this game to bed pretty quickly. Devon might sit in there waiting for them, obviously. And you know, at this point, can you blame them for their minds maybe starting to shift to that uh, next uh, matchup that they're going to have to try and come back from the loser's bracket to win this one, which will be something different for them. Quite a story, but only two kills left now for the Chiefs. Uh, as we do see here, Barcode, he's not leading the kills this time, but he's putting in a massive amount of assists with 11 assists. Uh, and just one kill needed now for Chiefs. And who's going to be the one to take this out? It's going to be Flex Range with the snipe. Uh, 15 kills for him. A really strong performance pretty much across the board for Chiefs. Uh, that's 2-0 Death Raptor fans. Unfortunately, they're running this tournament ends. Top three for them, though, Justin. That's, that's nothing to sneeze about.